Hello, welcome to the demonstration for the Kodak Alaris i3000 series scanning solution. One of the most versatile scanning solutions in this particular category. I do have the Kodak i3500 scanner here with me and this is running with the Kodak Capture Pro software. I'm running it with my laptop and you can actually see this on the larger screen as well. And we are making this particular demo for a council in New South Wales. So have a look and see how this works for you. Um, I've got a, I've done a bit of a doc prep over here and I've got all kinds of mixed documents. Um, A4, A3, A5, uh, single sided, double sided photographs, dockets, brochures, glossy mat, finish, landscape, portrait, anything and everything that you would actually get in a document. So I've done the doc prep. And the important part with the doc prep is just two things you need to keep in mind. Align the document to the front, so all the leading edges should be matching. And the, align the document to the center, so everything is sitting under the feed roller. As long as that doc prep is good and tidy, the scanner will work continuously and reliably. And then I have a large stack over here of just normal, uh, regular business documents, A4 size documents. And I'm going to put them uh, through, the, through the feeder. And uh, we've just got a very simple job set up in the Kodak Capture Pro software. We want to scan these documents, we want to create a PDF, you want a searchable PDF with the OCR running in the background to create a full text OCR document, very easily done on this particular solution. So as a scanner operator, I've done the doc prep, I've got the scanner here with me and all I need to do is click on the job that I want to scan and you can have multiple jobs over there doing multiple things. So documents which are scanned with different index requirement going to different parts of your business that's where the job setup comes in that we configure all this we put all the rules in place minimize the clicks so all you need to do as a scanner operator is all you do is one click and that starts the scanner and we are ready for it. In this particular scanning mode, right now the scanner is scanning both the sides of the document, automatically deleting the blanks, automatically rotating the images, auto crop, disk cube, text enhancement, image cleanup, all the features of the Kodak Perfect Page technology are working by default in the background and you're getting flawless images continuously and consistently. You would notice, as soon as the scanner stops, this is the last A3 piece of paper which has gone through the scanner. As soon as the scanner stops, within a couple of seconds, all the images are visible on the screen in the Kodak Capture Pro software. There's only a momentary delay for the images to get transferred from the scanner to the PC. The batch is finished, the scanner is stopped. Uh, the last image that you see on the scanner is the document where we've scanned both the sides and it's automatically rotated the image on the fly. So the scanning part is very easy, very, very reliable and highly efficient and productive. We've scanned the document, we've digitized it, we've got all the images. I now need to do a QA on this and I need to do my indexing, which I can do on this particular workstation right now and output the images to the destination that I want. But the requirement given to us is to have additional workstations where people can do this a little bit offline so the scanner is free for the other users and somebody else can come in and start scanning. So I need to take my file with me and need to actually do the QA and indexing back at my workstation where we do have an extra indexing license of the Kodak Capture Pro software installed. So all I need to do over here is I just need to close this batch here. It's still in the Kodak Capture Pro software, but I'm just closing the batch and we have an icon over here which says close batch. I close the batch and I can move away from this particular PC. 
It's free for anybody else to use. I now go back to my desktop, my, my PC, I'm on my desk, and I do have the Kodak Capture Pro software which looks exactly the same sitting on my uh, PC. And on my PC, all I need to do is open up the batch manager now. So you would notice we have an icon over there which says batch manager. If I click on batch manager, it shows me the batch that I have just scanned. And if I open this particular batch, I have all the images sitting there. I can scroll through this particular document. As you can see, I'm scrolling through this. I can see all the images. And so far it is looking very good because these were good images. Uh, everything has worked 100% as needed. The images have been rotated automatically. The blanks have been deleted. So technology at its best. But as we scroll through these documents, okay, when we get into the difficult part where we've got all kinds of mixed documents, you would notice that I do have a blank document over here, so-called blank document. But if we highlight and have a closer look, and I can actually use my magnifier to show you that there is something actually initial on the back of this document. So it's not really a blank document. We need to retain this. But I have another one which is actually blank document. I can see that there is nothing on this particular document except a few dirt marks, few scuff marks over there. I can delete this easily and I've done my QA. If I scroll through, I have another document over here and I can show you a closer look. There's a highlighter on this particular document which has a bleed through. So we can see a little bit of an ink bleed through on the back and that's why this has not been deleted. Again, I can delete this particular doc image and I can scroll through the rest of the images. You can see I'm changing my viewer very, very quickly. All the rest of the documents are in perfect condition. I don't need to do anything else. And my job's pretty much done. The only thing I need to do indexing, and this is where I have the indexing option which I have set to post scanning. So all I do is go into my indexing option and I can index from there. And in this case, I can index from this document and I can pick up any number from the, from the document over here by using drag and drop OCR. There is a number on this document and I can just say index it with this particular value. We OCR it. The number is on the right side in the indexing value as you would see it. And I say enter and I have indexed the document and we are ready for output. We've done the QA. We've checked everything is perfect. And all I do is click on the checker flag, which means my work is complete. The document is ready for release. I'll put this particular document and this is sitting on the destination location and it can go to SharePoint. It can go to your any kind of a business workflow solution in the background. And that is the Kodak Capture Pro software with the Kodak i3500 scanner, making your job very enjoyable, highly productive. I hope you really like this and this solution adds efficiency and productivity to your work. If you need any more information, please feel free to reach out to us. We are always here to answer your questions. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Bye for now.